$2,000 fourth stimulus check in 2024. This includes Social Security, Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, Spousal, SSI, VA, and RRB. I have all the details and exactly what you need to know, as well as what's been requested right here in the video. Let's get right into it. All right, now, as I just mentioned, this video is dedicated to a $2,000 fourth stimulus check in 2024, including the over 71 million fixed income beneficiaries I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Now, I have been receiving a number of questions and concerns down below in the comment section from some of you here in the community over the last few days, weeks, and the last couple of months asking for where do we currently stand on this and are we going to be getting more payments as fixed income beneficiaries in 2024? As I've been saying for a very long time now, 2024 is the year of Social Security and there's going to be a lot of things that are happening in 2024. Therefore, let's get into it as we have a, do have a lot to talk about here in this video. A lot of things are happening and many things have changed over the last few months. Not necessarily in a good way either, but again, this is positive when it comes down to additional stimulus checks for fixed income and the American people as a whole. Let's get into it and talk through the details. However, really fast before we do, I just want to throw this out there really quickly. I have a goal here on the channel, and again, I want to sincerely thank all of you right here in this community, as I am beyond grateful for literally every single one of you that watch these videos and who support the channel here. I want to do whatever I possibly can. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe down below. It's totally free to do so. You see that plaque up there on the wall, the, the, the silver one? Well, guess what? When we hit 1 million subscribers here on the channel, which is the ultimate goal, we will get another one of those, and it's going to be gold. And again, who doesn't love a little bit of gold? gold these days, right? <laughs> I think we could all love a couple ounces of gold. That'd be worth several thousand dollars, which would honestly be pretty nice for a lot of people. But obviously it's not real gold. It's just the color gold. Anyway, I really do appreciate your support. If you have not done so, do a huge favor. Help us out here. We'll have more impact, more influence with videos like this, as well as the communication that we have when we reach out to those lawmakers, asking them for more help for the low income and fixed income. Make sure to subscribe down below. Thank you. Truly do appreciate it. Also share this video with your friends, family, social media. A lot of things are going on right now and hit that like button or the thumbs up button right down below the video as well. All right. Thanks again. Truly do appreciate it. I sincerely appreciate every single one of you right here in the uh, videos and this channel right here. All right, thank you so much. Let's get into it and talk about the details of what's going on. 2024, $2,000 stimulus checks. And again, as I said before, as requested, so many people here in the community reach out to me literally on a daily basis. Uh, I see comments literally every single day from people here in the community asking what's going on. Is there going to be another stimulus check going out to us? Is something in the works? I've seen people talking about checks being delivered tomorrow, next Next week, next month, things are coming. What's going on here? Is it all happening? Where do we currently stand on this? All right. I've mentioned this before in other videos. I want to throw this out there really quickly. It is my dedication to bring you honest, accurate, reliable, transparent information every single day in these videos and advocate on your behalf every single day. So yes, I'm very aware. Some people out there are talking, oh, checks delivered tomorrow, deposits coming in, mailing out, all kinds of stuff like this. I know, I see it just like you do, okay? However, I wanna be transparent with you right here at the very start, which is, as of right now, a $2,000 stimulus check or any stimulus check for any dollar amount has not been approved yet, okay? I just wanna throw that out there so we have that uh, cleared air right from the very start here, okay? However, I do wanna throw th some things out. Now, like I said also a minute or two ago, I said things have changed relatively rapidly here over the last couple months, not in a good way, but in a positive way when it comes to stimulus checks. Does that make sense or not really? <laughs> that completely contradicts itself. But let me explain really quickly, okay? The economy is not doing so hot, okay? It's like in bed, like coughing stuff up. It's not doing so well these days, okay? The economy here in the United States, as well as the global economy, is getting whacked, okay? Let's just say that much. That's a nice way to put it. It's getting whacked right now, okay? And I can tell you this much. There's more whacking to come, okay? So anyway, my point is when it comes down to the economy, this is what it's all about. If you are in the camp, like we all probably are, me included, of let's get some stimulus checks out to the fixed income, the people that actually need it, this is welcomed news and this is a good thing when it comes down to stimulus checks, okay? If you want stimulus checks, you would want to pray for a weak economy, okay? I know that sounds like, but wait, why would we ever want a weak economy? Well, here's why. When the economy goes into a major contraction or recession, uh, that is when stimulus checks are distributed, okay? 
every single time they do this. Stimulus checks are not a new thing. Now, I know a lot of people back in, say, 2020, we got two stimulus checks, 1200 and 600 in 2020, and we got $1,400 in 2021. A lot of people uh, felt like that was the first time they did stimulus checks. It is not. This is not a new thing for Congress as well as the Federal Reserve. In fact, they've done stimulus checks multiple times. It's the same old song and dance. It's the same old rodeo, okay? They do the same thing uh, Same thing every time that the economy goes into a contraction or a recession, they do the same thing. Congress passes hundreds of billions or trillions of dollars of spending. They call to the Federal Reserve and say, hey, can you print us up a trillion? And the Federal Reserve says, sure, give us like three seconds. They, t they change some numbers on a computer and boom, we've just manufactured a trillion dollars or whatever they want, okay? Think of this, between the time of about March of 2020 and about uh, mid-April or so of 2021, they printed six trillion dollars. That's craziness right there. Six trillion dollars is nuts, okay? <laughs> That's a lot of money, okay? No wonder why we saw so much inflation for that long period of time, and we're still dealing with inflation right now. It's all because of printing six trillion dollars. That's why, okay? Anyway, we can talk about all that in a separate video, but my point is, this is what happens every single time. Now, why would they do such a thing? Why would they print money when there's a economic uh, contraction or recession? Here's why. What do we need to do to inflate the bubble again? It's called printing money, okay? That's what they do. And they plow it out in the form of, you know, giving small business loans and grants. They give it out in the form of enhanced unemployment benefits like we saw in 2020. Remember that? That was crazy. People that were uh, getting unemployment benefits were getting so much money. It was, it was nuts. Remember that? $600 from the Fed every single week on top of what they were getting from their state. No wonder why nobody wanted to go back to work. They were getting paid more to not work, okay? And again, that's a whole different discussion, but again, that's my point is tons of money was going out. It was all on purpose. In addition to that, stimulus checks, all kinds of stuff. But why? Because everything was shut down, okay? Now, again, we might be thinking, oh, they wanted to help the people. Yeah, they wanted to help the people a little bit. What they really wanted to do, they wanted us to take that money and spend like crazy. And guess what we did? We spent like crazy. And it was kind of fun for like the three minutes that it lasted, right? <laughs> were, was that just me or were, were you there too, right? Did you have the same problem I did? Like three minutes of fun and I was like, wait, where did it all go? I, I, I think I just spent it all. I, what happened? Wait, I spent all of it plus some. Whoops, I wasn't supposed to do that, right? Yeah, you were. That's what they wanted us to do. They wanted us to spend it plus some, okay? And that's exactly what happened. So my point is, every time they go into an economic recession or a contraction, they print money hundreds of billions or trillions of dollars. Now, the reason that I say hundreds of billions or trillions, it depends on what uh, we're going through, okay? Back in 2020, uh, 2021, they printed trillions, okay? The last time, back in 2008, 2009, they printed hundreds of billions. The next time, I guarantee you, it's gonna be in the trillions. Why? Because that's where we're at now. We're not in the hundreds of billions anymore. Hundreds of billions of dollars is nothing. It's chump change to them, okay? Trillions is now the new game when they print up money. So that's what it comes down to. And again, the whole purpose behind this is to print up money and push it out to the people and then they direct us to spend it. And we say, don't mind if I do, I'll gladly spend it. And that's exactly what they do, okay? They give money to us in the form of a stimulus check, otherwise known as economic impact payment. That's the real name of these things. And then they say, hey, here's some money. Can you buy some stuff? And we say, sure, don't mind. Uh, we'll go buy some stuff, no problem, right? Can you give us some more? We'll gladly buy some more stuff, okay? And then we have these supply and demand issues, as in prices are driven up because more people are trying to buy the same things. You know, demand is high, supply is low, prices must go higher, simple economics 101. Uh, that's the whole thing. And then we have the supply chain issues as well, as in manufacturers, distributors can't keep up because we're buying more than they can produce. You know what I mean? Same stuff we saw for that, what, year, year and a half period of time where the shelves in uh, grocery stores and the shelves in department stores and stuff like that were empty. Why? Because we, we were all trying to buy the same stuff. <laughs> That's why. They literally couldn't keep it up uh, on the shelves. As soon as it was gone uh, up on the shelf, we, the people, came back and we bought more with all that money, right? My point is, this is the circulation of what's going on. And this is where we're at. Now, let's bring this thing full circle really quickly here and I'm gonna wrap it all up, which is where are we at right now? 
we are bumping around and basically flirting with a major, major, major recession, okay? Is that good? Depends how you look at it. If you want uh, cheap prices on a lot of stuff and if you want more money to be distributed, then yes, a deep recession is great, okay? Think of it this way. A lot of people have this negative connotation with a recession. Think of it this way. A recession is a reset. Is the reset button good sometimes? Do you need to reset your electronics, your phone, your computer, some of your, maybe your TV, your, um, I don't know, your internet, stuff like that? Do you need to hit the reset button sometimes? Yeah, you definitely do, right? Is it a good thing? Do things start over fresh again and do they start over better when you hit the reset button? Yes, every single time. Think of it that way. Rather than thinking, oh my, a recession, think of it, hey, we're just hitting the reset button on the economy. It's a good thing, okay? I'm just saying that much. Now, is it good for everybody? No, it's not good for everybody, but is it overall good for a lot of stuff? Yes, let me give you a quick analogy. Forest fires. Are forest fires good? Well, we could think of it as, oh my, it's a forest fire. That's really bad, right? Actually, forest fires are a really good thing. It's a natural way to clean out all the stuff and start over fresh. Have you ever seen a forest after a fire? It's like crazy how fast stuff comes back, right? It blooms, like the whole thing comes back. It's like roaring with new growth, like immediately. Why? It's a reset, same thing, okay? Anyway, that's a quick little analogy, but yeah, forest fires, a lot of times we think, oh, that's not really a good thing. It's like a lot of stuff's burning down. You're right, it's usually not necessarily a good thing, but in general, it's a reset for the forest and it's actually a pretty good thing because everything regenerates super fast, right? So anyway, quick little analogy that I wanted to share with you. So this is where we're at right now. Nope, no checks yet, but remember, 2024, election year, 2024, major recession, 2024, print up trillions of dollars. There's gonna be a lot of stuff, okay? It's gonna be a busy, busy year. I guarantee it 100%. There's gonna be a lot of stuff going on. And what could they do right before an election to really buy some votes? I mean, <clears throat> sorry, did I just say buy votes? I meant to say secure some votes. <laughs> Let's be real. We know how the game is played, right? They do this, okay? Same thing happened back in early 2021. What happened then? We got the promise of $2,000 checks if we voted for some different people to bring them into Congress. It happened, and guess what? We got checks. It wasn't two grand like they promised us. It was $1,400. My point is, it works. They know it just as much as they do. So why not use some taxpayer dollars to give out some stimulus checks and uh, you know secure some votes? So again, not turning this into a political statement. I'm simply saying we know how the game is played. It happens all the time, and it just so happens to be in election year. The time is a ripe, right? It's a good time in here, and there's a lot of things that are coming together here. A lot of things that are diverging and converging in a good way when it comes down to this. So, again, I'll continue watching everything closely. I want to come back really quickly, give you a little... I guess it turned into an economic lesson, but um, sorry for that. Don't mean to be like your economic pers uh, economics professor here, but... Um, <laughs> this is what it comes down to, okay? But you need to know this stuff. If you want another stimulus check, you gotta have at least a basic understanding of this because this is what it comes down to. We can write all the letters we want. We can call them. We can text them. We can yell and scream all we want. They don't care. It's all about the economy and jobs. Anyway, I'll continue to watch everything very closely. I hope this gives you a better understanding of what's going on here. Make sure to subscribe down below. Again, I'll bring you updates. I'll bring you feedback. I'll bring you anything that's going on. I'm watching all this stuff very closely all day literally every single day otherwise subscribe down below so we can get one of those gold play buttons like you see right behind me there the silver one we'll get a gold one of those not real gold if it were i mean that'd be super cool but it's not it's just the color gold <laughs> representing a million subscribers uh i know we're a long ways away but again like i said i'm beyond grateful for literally every single one of you here in this community thank you i want to do whatever i can to help you out so subscribe share the video with your friends family social media the uh, share button right down below as well as like it with the thumbs up button and uh go back and check out some of the other thousands of videos here on the channel until next time enjoy your day take care have a good one and i'll catch you again later in the next